towards her, when she refused to take his surname of Mountbatten, according to a new biography. Acclaimed biographer Sally Bedell Smith has even noted that the ten year delay between the births of the Princess Royal and the Duke of York was the result of Philip's anger over the Queen's rejection of his family name, according to The Telegraph. The Queen also had a bitter royal row about the names of Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Edward, and Prince Andrew, a fascinating documentary has revealed. In the Netflix documentary titled The Royal House of Windsor, a young Prince Philip reportedly pushed Queen Elizabeth II to her breaking point over the matter of their kids' names. The 97 year old royal forced the Queen to change Prince Andrew and Prince Edward's names to include his surname. He wanted their two younger children to use Mountbatten Windsor and gave Queen Elizabeth II an ultimatum for this matter. The late Harold Macmillan, the then Prime Minister, also wrote about it in his diary. He said, What upsets me is the Prince's almost brutal attitude to the Queen over all this. A personality clash made their relationship strained at times with the Queen having been brought up as a traditionalist by her father but falling in love with Philip, who was described as a modernist. Prince Philip was extremely ambitious in his Royal Navy career and had set his sight on making a name for the Mountbatten family. He hoped to go right to the top of the Admiralty, he felt this was his destiny, said historian Dr. Piers Brendan. When King George VI died, Prince Philip was reportedly heartbroken because he didn't expect that his career would end too soon. A friend said that when Philip heard the news, he looked absolutely flattened. Like the world had collapsed on him, said Gwilin Lee, the narrator. Prince Philip was a war hero and a decorated naval officer. He was looking forward to a long career. Although when he married Princess Elizabeth, he must have known that this moment would come, he can't have expected it to come so soon, historian Sarah Gristwood explained. He would have calculated when they got married, almost certainly, that they would have had 20 years at least, given George VI's relatively young age, she added. It was, what, barely four years since the marriage? Now his naval career was over and he was going to spend the rest of his life walking four paces behind his wife. Since Queen Elizabeth II had to take over the monarchy, Prince Philip sacrificed his personal ambition to support his wife. He promised to be the Queen's eyes and ears, and he fulfilled it. Mr. Iwe argued the children would be considered illegitimate should they not take the Mountbatten last name. The shocking revelation is not the first time the Queen and Philip locked horns. The documentary revealed he had not taken to life at Buckingham Palace and had annoyed the Queen by quizzing palace staff on their duties, frying his own breakfast and carrying his own bags. There has also been infamous scandals on his apparent womanizing, so much so the Queen Mother and King George VI had questioned their daughter's choice of partner. In a letter, the Queen's mother described Philip as rough and overbearing. Though despite early clashes the pair have celebrated more than 70 years of marriage and Philip has been